What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick modeling tutorial for you. So today we're just going to go in here and we're going to have a little bit of fun with the uh, Fredo Scales Radial Bend Tool. So uh, I've done several videos about this extension before and I just really love what you can do with it. But today we're going to make kind of a bent basket weave type shape. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So uh, first thing we're going to do in order to do this is we're going to come in here and we're going to create a circle. So you're just going to tap that C key and uh, make sure that it says sides 24 in the corner. Um, if it doesn't, for whatever reason, you can just type in 24 and hit the enter key. Um, and that's just where you select the number of sides that are in your circle. Make sure you're drawing a 24 sided circle. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to come in here and we're going to draw a two foot circle just like this. So, and then basically what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, points of the circle because as you can see, the way that SketchUp drew this circle is it's basically made up of 24 segments. All right, so once you have your circle, what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to draw a couple extensions off of these lines. So you're going to draw an extension off of this point right here. You're going to draw another extension towards your center point. So you can just... Uh, Move your mouse over the center point and then just type in 2 and hit the enter key. And then you can go ahead and make a copy of this one over to this point using the rotate tool in copy mode. So just select this line, um, activate the rotate tool, click on this center point, and then tap the control key to activate copy mode. So then what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to draw a line between these points just like this and then you can erase, erase out these other lines in here so you can come in here now and you can erase out your circle and you can actually erase out these lines as well um, basically what you want to do now is you just want to select this one object and then uh, go back to your origin point and then use the rotate tool in copy mode again and you're just going to type in times 12 and you can see how what that did is you rotated this in a circle and it created this kind of star shape and now we're just going to heal this surface by drawing a line across it and then you can erase this line out then we're going to use the offset tool to offset this probably by about an inch just like this and then you can delete out your center here so now you've got kind of this repeating um, triangular shape uh, that makes kind of a star type shape in here now what you're going to do is you're going to push pull that so you're going to push pull that up probably about two inches just like this and then drag your mouse across it, right click and click make component. And we can just call this piece. It doesn't have to be anything special. All right, so once you've got this object kind of extruded, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a copy of it up using the move tool. So you're just gonna come in here with the move tool. Uh, you're going to uh, click on this point and uh, you can see how when I move this up and down, it just moves. But if I tap the control key, what it's going to do is it's going to go into copy mode and it's going to create a copy right here. So tap that control key, move this copy up, and then you're going to rotate this. And for right now, what I'm going to do is since, since this is along this red axis, all I need to do is move my mouse over this little red point that shows up when the uh, rotate tool is active. But you're just going to click on that and you're just going to rotate it so that your object... Uh, you're just basically going to rotate it so this object is kind of offsetting every time that it moves back and forth just like this. So you can see what that's going to do is that's going to create kind of our basket weave shape. And so once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to use the move tool and you're going to come in here and you're going to create um, a bunch of copies um, kind of the same way. So select these two objects, tap the M key and click on this point, and then tap the control key. And then if you hold the shift key, you can kind of lock your inference to the blue axis just like this. And then you can use this point as kind of a guide point. So you can see how now this is sitting right on top of this other piece. But um, while that tool is active, go ahead and uh, type in, we're going to say times 40. So basically what we did is we just told this, okay, I want you to make 40 copies of this object. So I don't just want you to copy the two right here. I want you to copy that 40 times. So you can see what that does is that gives us kind of this longer shape in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, I'm going to select all of this, I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to click make group. And mostly that's just so when I uh, click on this, it's not selecting a whole bunch of individual groups. Um, it's just kind of selecting this one object. So and then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to draw a guide point. So I'm just going to draw a point from my origin, and I'm going to draw it straight up the blue axis, right up to the top of this object. And uh, you can let this inference along the blue axis and then hold the shift key to lock it to the blue axis. And then you can click on this point right here um, so that you know that your guideline in here is uh, the right height. 
And so now that we've done that, the reason we created that guideline is because we're going to use a Fredo Scale's radial bending option. So you can download Fredo Scale radial bending or Fredo Scale from the Sketchication warehouse, and I'll link to that in the notes below. But you can come in here, and basically we're going to use this last option in here, which is the radial bending option, um, in order to bend this along. Um, an axis and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here we're gonna activate that tool by clicking on this last icon on here the kind of red bent shape and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tap that that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tap the right arrow key that'll lock this to the red axis and then uh, I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna click once on the make sure your object is selected but then come in here and click once on this origin point right here which is going to be right at the base of your object and then you can move your mouse up here and you're basically telling it which axis you want it to bend along first you can see how it says draw reference direction so by clicking on this point right here we're saying okay I want you to start at the base here and so along this blue axis is the direction along which you want to bend it so and then you're going to select a target point which is basically you saying I want you to bend everything between this point and this point to whatever the radius is that I select so we're going to click on this point again and this doesn't inference very well which is why which is why we went ahead and drew this guide point but we're going to click once to do that and then it's going to ask you to pick your rotation angle and you can see how it kind of gives you a preview in here it doesn't give you a full preview just because that's a lot of geometry that it would have to show um, bending but basically what we're going to do is we're just going to type in 180 and hit the enter key so we're basically telling it I want you to bend this in a half circle and this will probably take a little while uh, just because uh, you are creating a whole lot of new geometry and messing with a whole bunch of stuff so it'll take a little bit for it to work but you can see how now if I come down here it took this object and it bent it 180 degrees just like this that gives you this cool kind of bent basket weave shape so and you could come in here and you could color these different ways or kind of do whatever you wanted to in here now that you have this uh, you get some pretty cool views by coming up here inside of the object if you wanted that as well so there's a lot of different things you could do with this but uh, you know this is also a principle that you can use to model a whole bunch of other different things but anyway so that's where I'm gonna wrap up today's video I'll leave a comment below let me know what you thought do you have any ideas for how to use the radial bend tool have you been using it I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys um, if you like this video please Please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketchup content every week if you like what i'm doing in this channel please consider supporting me on patreon um, every little bit helps even if it's only a dollar a month that just helps me keep bringing you great sketchup content but in any case thank you so much for taking the time to watch this i really appreciate it and i will catch you in the next video thanks guys